Today I'm staying at a geodome. Hi, I'm Anna from I Made Hours Ahead and on today's unique accommodation video I'm staying at the geodome that you can see behind me and I just want to show you around so let's go have a look. Today I'm at La Bruyere Farm in Tuba. The geodome is one of two geodomes on the farm currently. You will access the farm from a gravel road that's up for city cars, driving through a beautiful forest until you get to the sunset dome. Once you park your car, you'll see a little wooden bridge and creek. To your right, you can cross a second small bridge and keep walking around the dam to face the geodome from the other side of the dam. After crossing the first small bridge, you will get to an outdoor area which has two lounge chairs and a small table. The views of the dam from here aren't great, but it provides plenty of shade which makes it ideal on really hot days. If you keep going, you'll get to the main wooden deck where the geodome and a second outside area are located. Before we go inside, on your left there is an outdoor kitchen and a mini fridge and stove. The bamboo canes and wood give it a jungle look. You are in the forest after all, so it is very fitting. There's also a barbecue and wood is provided. The beautiful tall table can be moved around and placed where it best suits you. If one table and set of chairs were not enough, then there's also a picnic table overlooking the dam with an umbrella on top. This one you cannot move. Going down one level, we get to ideal bath deck. With these incredible views over the dam and sunset, you'll want to soak here for a long while. You can fit two people, but it is really only ideal for one at a time. You also have a bench to leave all your clothes on. On the lowest deck level, you'll find the pier. Here you have a lounge chair, swinging chair and stairs to enter the dam. The water here is very shallow, but if you want to dive, there is another pier 3 minutes away from the geodome where you can do just that. Heading inside the geodome, you enter through a wide wooden door and are greeted by a friend. I thought this was an incredible way to showcase the views and very different from any other cabin I've seen. To the left, there are a couple of boxes creating some space for clothes, a rack with towels and yoga mats, and two hanging fluffy jackets for winter framing the mirror. They also provide books about birds, a chessboard, a deck of cards and dominoes. Underneath the frame, there's a bench. You'll find two incredibly pretty green velvet chairs and a hanging lantern with space for a candle. There is a double bed which is very comfortable. For winter, you have a heater and for summer, a fan. If you now go onto the focus point of the geodome, there's a hammock next to the big window. I spent so many hours reading a book here, lightly rocking. It truly makes the space complete and adds one more level of comfort. The geodome has curtains that you can close at night, but on the roof there's a skyline that still lets some light into the geodome. Sleeping in a geodome is like sleeping in a luxurious canvas tent. Heat and cold don't get in as easily, but they still do. And the sounds come through from the forest while you're in the comfort of your bed or lounging in the chair. The bathroom is to the left of the geodome or on the right hand side from where you arrive and has a sink, toilet and half of the shower with views over the dam if you're tall enough. If you liked the tour, please remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in a couple of weeks with another unique accommodation video. Bye!